Are you just starting out in cybersecurity and wanting to get your hands on some pretty neat projects that can provide you with not only hands-on skills, but also something to talk about with potential recruiters or hiring managers? In today's video, I wanted to share with you five beginner projects that you can do right now. Starting with project number one, setting up your own VPN. For those that don't know, a VPN is a virtual private network that can help secure your traffic across the wire. In other words, help you encrypt your data on the network. Whoa, wait, Steven, can you just purchase a VPN? <laughs> well, yeah, but that's no fun. Instead, you can set up your own VPN by spinning up a virtual machine. Now, if you wanna learn how to spin up a virtual machine, I'll leave a link down for you so you can get started. But once you have your virtual machine, you can then install WireGuard or any of the other VPNs out there, such as OpenVPN or even a firewall, which brings me to my next project. Project number two, install and configure your own firewall. The security solution that helps protect our perimeter, a device that can allow or deny traffic from coming in and out. You can pretty much think of this as a bouncer at a club. To set up your own firewall, as mentioned in project one, all you really need is a virtual machine. And in fact, all of these projects can be done with a virtual machine, except for the last one. What you can do is install PFSense, which is an open source firewall that has a lot of custom features and add-ons that you can install to improve its capability. For example, proxies such as Squid and an intrusion detection system such as Snort. Project number three, DNS. It's always DNS. For this project, you can set up what is called a DNS sinkhole. Now, what the heck is that you might ask? Well, DNS stands for Domain Name System, and it's a way to allow us humans to not have to remember the IP address of your favorite website, such as mydfir.com. I want you to stop and think about the new friend that you had just made recently. Do you know their number off the top of your head? Probably not. I mean, why would you? You have a contact list for a reason, and this is just like DNS. A sinkhole is where things go to die. <laughs> but seriously, it's where you can redirect traffic so it does not result to anything, or you can simply just block it. Now you can spin up something like Pi-hole and install it on, you guessed it, a virtual machine, and then start monitoring your domain request from your home network and start to implement a little bit of security one step at a time. Project number four, set up an IDS, aka intrusion detection system. You may or may not have an indoor camera that can alert you when you're away. But if you do, you essentially have an IDS. And an IDS, which is an intrusion detection system, will constantly monitor your network traffic and alert you if any of the traffic matches a certain criteria. It is extremely helpful when you're about to perform any sorts of investigation. For an IDS, you can spin up either Suricata or Snort, and either one does the job. I'll have a video down below that you can take a look to get started with Snort. Project number five, new network, who dis? <laughs> if you made it this far, I do apologize for the terrible names, but for this project, your main objective is to begin drawing up a diagram of your current home network. And then think about purchasing a cheap managed switch, so then you can start implementing what are called VLAN, Virtual Local Area Network. And I'll link a switch that I like to use down below. With VLANs, you can start to segment your network and not have a flat network. Without VLANs, your devices can and will talk to everyone on the same network. And if one device gets infected, well... With this project, you can include all of the other projects that I listed earlier, and by doing so, you'll have a pretty solid home network solution. You might be wondering, these are all network-related projects. And <laughs> you're absolutely correct. I did this on purpose because without networking knowledge, you'll have a difficult time in cybersecurity. If you aren't aware, I have an upcoming SOC course that is expected to be released on June 10th if there are no issues. This course will contain over 30 plus hands-on labs and have five exclusive SOC projects. If you or someone you know is interested in particularly the security operations domain, this course is designed to help students learn how to ask better questions and investigate network, endpoint, malware, identity, and cloud-related telemetry. Once you purchase it, it is yours for life, and updates are free. 
The price is going to be $4.99 plus tax USD, and I provided all of the links in the description. And that is it for the video, and I hope you found that informative. If you did, let me know by hitting that like button and subscribe if you want to. Remember to stay curious and do things differently.